Hi, all you beautiful people. Today we're going to talk about hair color. Let's go over some color at home ideas. Uh, first of all, I want you to ask you to hold out and not do your hair color at home. Uh, it's going to be the best option always. That way we won't run into any color corrections, which creates uh, it's more expensive and it's a really time consuming. So if you can hold off and we all just have this solidarity stripe, let's do that. But there are a few things you can do to manage it. One of them is something that I've showed a lot of you before and it's called the zigzag part. You take a comb and instead of creating a solid part like this, where you can really see the root line, you go in and you zig and zag and zig and zag, pull up, and then instead of that line, you have a parting that's zigzag that has a lot of lift at the root, so it helps to manage that color line a little bit better. And the other thing I want to talk about is Color Wow. Some of you are currently using it. If you haven't invested in that product, now is a great time to do it. It is available online. It comes with really explicit instructions. And I would suggest doing just the root part area and this around the hairline. That way, if you're doing a lot of teleconferencing, it takes care of that line visibility. If you do it all over, it's just a lot of work and it saves a lot of product to just do the visible areas, okay? And do read the instructions with that. It comes with great instructions. Now, if you just can't hack it and this quarantine goes on and on, we'll dig a little further into the color topic, okay? So if you do choose to do over-the-counter hair color, it is important to read all the instructions very, very carefully. It's a very messy process, so I want you to set up a designated area that's easy to clean up. I want you to not be doing other things while you're doing your color because you can be easily distracted and timing is going to be crucial, okay? So I want you to, when you're picking a shade, I want you to go a little lighter than you think. Um, it will blend better with your ends if you go a little bit lighter at the root, okay? Application process I know is difficult, but what we're really trying to do is apply the color only at the root. Try not to overlap up into the color on your ends, okay? You can take conditioner and put it on the hair that you're not gonna color to use as kind of a color blocker. So just Put conditioner through the ends, leave it off the roots, touch up the roots, and then that acts as a color bl blocker, okay? So take time with that application. Once it's applied, I want you to sit, relax, be patient, and stay alert to the timing, okay? Um, I'm not super familiar with over-the-counter color products, but I have done a little research in the Clairol Root Touch-Up Permanent Hair Color Kit seems to be a good choice. Now, those of you that choose to do this are, you can text me, call me, and I will work with you to make an educated guess on the color you should use. Again, my best advice is not to do your color at home, thus avoiding color correction, costly and time consuming. So if we can just live with that solidarity stripe for a while, let's do it. Manage it with a little zigzag parting, a little color wow, things will work out. So let's just keep the faith. I miss you all so much and let's remain hopeful and I'll see you soon.